So I wanted to take a minute just to keep providing updates in regards to where I'm at with uh, just life and mentally preparing myself for Honduras. You know, you think you know what you're signing up for and you think that it's just getting on a plane and going somewhere and you know planning to do these things that you're committing to do and the truth is is it so much more than that I um the closer that we get to it I'm realizing just how mentally um, aware I am of what we're doing everything from fundraising to collecting donations to just comparing my life right now to you know what I'm gonna see so fundraising was harder than you know you think it is even when you're like oh I'll just pay whatever like it's fine which I went to it mentally knowing that I would be paying a lot of it um, but I didn't foresee having life happen I my car broke down well <laughs> that happens a lot so that's no surprise I put that in my yearly budget so no but like I was without a car for three weeks because you know I didn't know really what was wrong with it brakes ended up needing like axle and stuff like that so you know I walked and took the shuttle to work I ubered when I can if it was raining um, but still it was all a privilege it's a privilege for me to have a shuttle to take to work and you know I just think about this stuff I don't want to be like woe is me my car oh, I can't go to work no I have two feet I know how to use them I did the overnight walk and that was 16 miles 16 miles I didn't realize how hard that was gonna be um, my feet are still mangled because of it I can't wait to get a pedicure next week um, which really is just a treat to myself it's something that I'm rewarding myself for and really I even feel guilty about thinking about that so um, you know I spent last week with three dollars in my pocket you know because you know my overtime I worked a lot of overtime too because I knew that I would need to and you know life happens and the unforeseen happens and it wasn't on my paycheck and that's fine I just took it as in you know what my bills are paid I have a roof over my head I have a lot to be thankful for um, I had food in my fridge it might not have been what I wanted to eat every day but you know what nobody not everybody in this world gets to eat what they want every day. Not everybody gets to go out on a Friday night or a Thursday night and be like, I want pizza and beer, you know? I haven't had a drink in a while, and I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with that, actually. But I mean, like, just, I don't go out and frivolously blow my money. Um, like, maybe I used to. And I just think that there's even more that I can do to just get where I need to be mentally um, for this trip. I think that it's helping me mentally prepare for it. I think that all the support from everybody, whether if it's monetary donations, people have donated clothes, people have donated school supplies, um, you know, we're still collecting stuff. and just knowing how hard it is to fundraise and get there um, it's only it's only a small fraction of it but it's a big it's a big part of it I think that out of 27 people that are going the last meeting that we had I think we were still nine thousand dollars away from our goal which basically meant that we were all collectively kind of almost there but not there quite yet and you know collectively what we do is we need that money because um, that's the supplies for the houses that's you know the stuff that we're gonna you know buy when we get there because things are much cheaper there than here um, we want to be able to you know put on an event a movie night we want to be able to donate you know school uniforms and stuff and things that we really wouldn't think are I don't know detrimental or you know much like we just ah, here you go just buy it um 
So I know that we're collecting a lot of things. I know that we're still collecting donations. I ultimately would like to not only be able to reach my goal, but I'd like to surpass it just so that I can help everybody else. Because I know that even if only half of us make that goal, we can't do the work without everybody else. I just keep thinking about you know, what's going to happen when we get there. I don't know. I haven't been. I'm excited and looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to not only helping people, but to kind of open my eyes a little bit more and see things a little bit differently than I have. My mom's calling me. Hi, Mom. I am at my apartment still. What's up? My car? Why? Well, you do know my car is kind of messed up, right? Um... Okay, well, we can... Yeah, so do I. Um, I can talk to you when I get there. Alright. Alright, love you. Bye. My parents, Dan, it was not working, and so my stepfather wants to borrow my car. My car, which really isn't reliable, so I don't know. I'll see what I can do. I have a lot of going on this week, but if I can help them, I will. And I'll plan on walking and taking the shuttle as is. But these are the things. These are the things that, you know, I'm up against. I have school. I have to finish my accounting class by the end of this month. Not this month. August. Yeah, August. It's a lot. I don't like math, so... But, I wake up every day just being thankful for what I do have, for the roof over my head, my cats, the opportunity to be a part of things that are doing good in this world. I want to be a part of it. I want to change it. I want people to be able to look out in this world and think, there are good people in it. I find that more too often than not, people only see the negative. And when you only see the negative, you have a skewed perception of what really is or what opportunities are out there. And if you can get a dose of what is out there, then maybe it won't just change your life. Maybe it'll change the lives of others around you too. So, I wanted to provide an update. I am less than $700 away from my goal. And three weeks left. I think three weeks. It's crazy. And I am going at 120 miles per hour. So, if you can find it in your heart to donate to my campaign or to City Fam in general, and it gets spread across everybody for the, you know, just the projects in general. Um, if you want to donate something, you want to donate school supplies, Rachel's collecting sunglasses, you know, we've posted lists. You can follow City Fam on Facebook and you can see what we're doing and get live updates. I'm going to continue to post my testimonials. I want everybody that's been a part of my campaign to know what I'm doing and where their contributions are going. So I look forward to sharing more with you. I look forward to this adventure. And I can't wait to see what comes out of it. So I hope that all of my, you know, my supporters and my, my friends and my family and everybody that are out there that, you know, see this journey, you know, are, are getting from it. 
even a little inkling of what I am, then I feel like that I am passing on something that's positive in this world. And that maybe, maybe you feel like you can make a difference. Even if it's just to your neighbor, your coworkers, or, you know, your family. I think it's important that we do whatever we can to help lift others. So I'm looking forward to this, even despite my troubles. So I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting me through this. And I look forward to sharing more with you. Happy Sunday. Game of Thrones tonight. Peace.